Hi, somebody commented recently on a video I did which was text in a frame done in Scan and Cut Canvas that there aren't many videos showing how to make or use frames. So in this video I thought I'd do just purely and simply how to make a simple frame and then how you can weld shapes into it. I know there'll be a lot of people at this time of year that are getting scan and cuts for Christmas or may have got them recently. So this will hopefully help any new people but may also help any of you that have had your machine for a while. So basically I'm just going to start off by going to the basic shapes. I'm going to select a square really simply. I'm going to come up to the edit box, come to the create offset line I'm going to take the spacing up to about half an inch, so 0.52. I want it as an outward. And because I'm using a square, I want square edges, so I'm going to choose bevel and say OK. Now, to all intents and purposes, that will create me a frame. If I put a piece of card on the mat, it will cut this outer square and then it will cut that square in the middle. But these are two separate squares they're not technically a frame. So if I click in the middle here, you can see the bounding box around this big outer square. That basically means that that square is on top. If I right click and choose center back and click away anywhere on my page to deselect and then come back and click in the middle again, this time you'll see that this inner square is selected. You can see the dash bounding boxes around it and that means that that square is on top. If I fill this with colour, just to give you an idea, and I fill it with red, and then if I choose the outside square and fill that with orange, you'll see they're two completely separate squares. So, as I say, this would cut, and then this square would cut out, giving you a frame, but you can't weld anything into this frame as it is at the moment. So what you have to do, the small square needs to be on top. Select both. You can either right click and choose subtract or you can come to the edit menu. Obviously the items have got to be selected. Come to the edit menu and choose subtract and now that will turn that one colour and that is now a frame with a hollow middle and that's the bit you need to be able to weld anything into a frame. If I just undo that and just duplicate those two So if I choose a heart from the basic shapes and try to weld this heart now, edit, weld, you'll see what happens, everything disappears and that's because, as I said, technically they are still two separate items. So I'll get rid of that. We've still got our two frames here. I'll just go to edit and align them just to make sure they've not moved. I'm going to select them both. The red one's on top. You can see that because you can't see any orange behind it. And I'm going to go edit, subtract. And that's my frame. I'm just going to right click and duplicate it because I might need it again in a few minutes. So this time now, if I choose a heart, and to weld this heart to the inner side of this frame now, the heart has got to overlap this inner empty gap. So you can see it overlaps at the top. I'm going to drag it down and drag it out slightly at the sides. And if I zoom in, you can hopefully see that. 
So this heart overlaps this inner line of the frame. I'm going to select everything and again you can either choose right click and weld or you can go to the edit menu and that's now welded that heart to that frame and if I fill this with colour just to show you you'll see exactly what we'll cut. So anything white is effectively your matte so everything that's black here is what we'll cut so that's a heart welded to a frame. So that's one. So if I bring my next frame back in, this time I'm going to go to the borders and I'm going to find a border, choose this third border. I'm going to hold the shift key down and make this smaller. Now again, you've got a couple of options here. You can weld it to the side of the frame and leave the gap at the bottom, or you can weld the, at the bottom as well, as long as something's touching. So if I fill this in with red so that you can see it better, you don't have to do this to weld it's just purely and simply for the video. So you can see where the red is overlapping this orange now and here at the bottom. Select everything, edit, weld. And that's welded that border now to that frame. So go back to zoom to fit, you can see. So I'm just gonna undo because I want another frame, I'm going to duplicate that frame, weld that again, okay so this time, oops, I want to go back and then let's say we want to add some text. I'm just going to choose a basic font. I'm going to type a capital I. Choose that font again. Capital U. And then I'm going to go back to the shapes. And find our heart again. I'm going to hold the shift key down and make this smaller so it's about the same size as the uh, letter and then this time I'm going to position now if I select all these the I heart U will weld to the bottom of the frame but it will be loose because it's not attached here on either side and there's nothing to attach it to there so it will just flop around so what you can do is let's find a rectangle we'll make this smaller you can position another rectangle so it overlaps the inside of the frame and the top of the letters select everything and go to edit and weld and this time if I fill this with colour you'll see so you get that effect now obviously your frames don't have to be square you can use rectangles so you know it's entirely up to you if we turn this one round and then choose a square and position that centrally so long as the rectangles the, this square is on top of this rectangle when we select this and choose subtract it will give us a frame but 
slightly offset. I'll fill it with, so that's another frame. Now I'll just undo. You can, while the, these are two separate items, you can use the divide option which is this one. And when you use divide, basically it gives you the same result, but it gives you a spare shape of whichever shape is on top. In this case, this is now a frame again, if I fill this with color. So you'll see what I'm talking about. And it's given us this, but I find if you're new and you're not actually sure what's happening, you could easily miss the fact that that is sat on top and then you try to weld something to it and again nothing would happen so i i prefer to use the subtract the biggest shape on the bottom and the bit that you want to punch out in my case the square here needs to be on top so so long as you remember to get them in the right order you will then be able to create create a frame and then you can then use that frame to put anything at all in it text as I've shown here, borders, other shapes, a shape that you've got maybe that you've previously made in canvas or an SVG that's a certain design, you can put it into a frame. So to make your frame, you just create your outer frame and your inner frame. Make sure the smaller frame is on the top, select them both and use the subtract function and you can't really go wrong, that's what you get. So I hope you find that helpful. If you want to see any more videos using other functions, please leave a comment in the box below the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.